We're here today at Rainham Marshes because uh, together with the RSPB we're launching the new Marshlands Discovery Zone. Um, it's a key part of our investment in uh, the London Thames Gateway. Uh, we've put up around half a million pounds into the project here uh, to ensure that the marshes are available to all, not just those who are keen on wildlife but uh, local residents and those from further afield who want to find out more. Um, it, it's a key part of our investment in communities, in spaces as well as jobs and homes. Almost unanimously everyone's bowled over by the place because it's an absolute breath of fresh air. It's a thousand acres of open marshland, a medieval landscape right on the edge of London, only 12 miles from central London and pretty much surrounded by housing, industry, roads, Eurostar, trains, etc. Um, so to come here and to see anything up to 100 different species of bird and some of Britain's rarest wildlife such as water voles um, so close to so many people is absolutely amazing. People's perception of the Thames Gateway is, is of concreting over parts of, uh, of East London, Essex and Kent. Uh, but what we're keen to show is that where there are uh, natural areas that are uh, valuable, important and attractive, uh, we want to get people to uh, understand they're there, uh, to be able to access them and to enjoy them. We get about 50,000 people a year visiting and we expect that to grow to 100,000 people or more, which is a lot of people for a nature reserve. The kind of people that benefit from it and particularly will benefit it from, from it in the future is local people, particularly local families. And the new Discovery Zone, which we built, is really designed to get children and families up close with nature. But what it really adds is something out on the marsh for people to do and stop at, get some shelter. And what it also provides is a, a classroom and a toilet for school groups. We get about five or 6,000 schools coming a year. Uh, and they, they get involved as part of the national curriculum. We've been able to base a whole term's work uh, around rain and marshes. We've been able to do science, we've looked at geography aspects as well as the obvious natural history aspects. It just gives them the opportunity to actually get out in the wild. Uh, although they live not far from countryside, it's surprising how few children actually do move out into the countryside and see what's around. Now, with all the f new facilities, we can come here at any time and, and still enjoy the facilities on offer. You see loads of marshes and it's all wet and sticky. And yeah. You can find no. lots of sea creatures. You're still learning, but not it's gone. Well, my favourite thing is um, when we're doing ponding and, and finding all different creatures. Traditionally, nature reserves are kind of thought for older people, for example, and that, we want to kind of change that perception because that doesn't need to be the case at all. It's the kind of place where everyone can come and enjoy themselves.